Okay. Hi, it's uh, David Castro from the ClassicCars.com journal, and today we are at the Bear Jackson Scottsdale auction. And today, well, I have uh, Gary Patterson at Shelby. How are you doing today, sir? Super. How are you doing, David? Doing well, and I shouldn't have to ask, but what do you do at Shelby? I just... Um, I'm a head janitor. That's... It, when it gets messy, I clean it up. So I am the president. You are the... That's probably the best way to look at being in charge. But but you know what? It's it is the people. It's all about the people and the company that makes it work. Not just one person. But I'm the guy that's uh, honored to have that position. I love it. So, what has Shelby got going on today? What products are either here or coming down the line for you guys? You know what's cool, uh, David is is it's really never been a better time mm -hmm. after 61 years to really be at Shelby today. Mm -hmm. So if you really look, we've, you know, you're, you're about the classic cars too. Mm -hmm. So we've got one of those sitting right over there. Mm -hmm. And that was built by Jim Marietta's crew, who is part of the original Venice crew. And what that means is Jim actually worked for Carroll Shelby in 1965. Mm -hmm. And he brought together some of the guys that are still around and still enthusiastic about building those cars. Mm -hmm. And they're building those cars again mm -hmm. with like Peter Brock, who is original designer of the Daytona Coupe and helped mm -hmm. with a GT350R, was uh, Carroll Shelby's first employee and taught the driving school. Mm -hmm. So the, for those of you that have a classic Mustang, you know who Peter Brock is. Mm -hmm. OK, so Jim Marietta was a 17 year old kid that worked for Carroll Shelby. Mm -hmm. OK, and now he's doing these continuation cars today, which is pretty cool. So we've got those kind of things. We have licensees that we work with all over the country, uh, Revology, Legendary GT Classic Cars, and, you know, several other groups that, uh, that do them, but, and they do the classic side of the business, which is really cool. So you can take, you know, you can get a classic Mustang with a Shelby serial number from Legendary GT, you know, cars or something like that. So you can get those cars, but if you look right here in the booth too, mm -hmm. you see, you know, the 60th anniversary, I think you talked to Aaron Shelby about. Mm -hmm. You see one that we did for the uh, Air Force, and that car looks a lot like an F-16 fighter plane. Mm -hmm. And we did that uh, with uh, Carrie Floyd, who does a charity for um, uh, the Kansas City uh, Children's Hospital and stuff. But if you look at that car, it's got a total paint scheme like the Air Force. It's got wheels that look like an F-16 fighter and little Easter eggs on that with a whole fighter, you know, but but the, we've got that car and it's a wide body super snake, 825 horses, mm -hmm. emissions legal pump gas, right? Mm -hmm. You've got a new signature edition, which is a GT500, mm -hmm. you know, the, the brand new one with the DCT in it and all those. Mm -hmm. And that car is over 900 horsepower. Really cool stuff, Yeah. you know? So I like to say they're all hybrids. They burn gas and rubber. Yes, they do. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And if you look at those car trucks over there, mm -hmm. Carroll Shelby was all about stuff. So if you remember in the 80s, he did stuff with Dodge. Mm -hmm. So they did the GLHS and stuff, but people don't remember, he did 1500 Dodge Dakotas. So a performance pickup mm -hmm. in 1989, mm -hmm. Carroll Shelby was all about it. If you look at that little truck right there, that black one, mm -hmm. That truck does zero to 60 in 3.45 seconds, makes 775 horses, mm -hmm. right? And a pickup truck. So pretty cool stuff. It is amazing technology how far it's come and performance trucks is a great idea. Um, what what can you tell us about the uh, new Centennial celebrating Carol Shelby's 100th birthday? Yeah, so Carol would have been 100 had he lived, uh, you know, until 2023, he would already be 100 now. So. Um, what we want to do is celebrate what would have been Carol's and continue that legacy. Mm -hmm. And the way that we do that is, you know, it's not just me. It's not just the team at Shelby. Mm -hmm. It's all of you, right? It's all the people that own those Shelby cars, aspire to have a Shelby car, mm -hmm. just the enthusiasts, or maybe you want a new one, right? So that's how that legacy continues. So. To celebrate 100 years, we did 100 of those. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you look at that car, it's got special fenders and wheels and tires and hood and front grill and you know an exhaust and some badging on it and stuff, very limited quantity. We announced that car, we, uh, we said we were gonna build 100 mm -hmm. and we sold them within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So that's cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, 750 horses and things like that. Right behind it is a you know, F-250, you know, pickup truck, crew cab, well, you know, and, and it makes over a thousand pound feet of torque, you know, I mean, 
crazy good stuff, mm -hmm. right? Technology has come so far, but there's never been a better time to be at Shelby today. I know this is a tough question because it's like having a parent ask what their favorite kid. Yeah. Among the new things that are here at Bear Jackson, what is your favorite? Which one do you prefer? Well, you know, it depends what you want to do with it. Okay. So it's kind of like asking a guy in an ice cream shop, you know, what's your favorite flavor? Well, you know, maybe today I feel like, uh, you know, chocolate. Uh, maybe I feel like raspberry another day. With, with vehicles, it depends what I'm going to do. You know, uh, it's great to hear that in the background. If I'm going to go quick around a road course, it's going to be one of these two cars, mm -hmm. Super Snake or the new GT500 uh, SE. We've got a KR. Those are the fastest cars that we're going to be today that we offer on around a road course. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to go straight quarter mile or something, we've got a, a code red that we just did with uh, 1300 horsepower. That car runs really good in a quarter mile. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If I got to pull a trailer, None of that's going to work well, yeah. but that truck will. So, you know, and it's going to go off road better. Mm -hmm. But if I don't want to go off road in a big pickup or pull a big trailer, that's when I get the sporty truck mm -hmm. and I can go around corners and stop better and quicker zero to 60. So the answer to your question is it depends on what flavor. Mm -hmm. Carol Shelby's personal car, when you ask him, and I did yeah. in the museum, mm -hmm. it was always the next one. Probably the best way to look at it. Exactly. Yeah. So from a driver's standpoint, and I said this, you know, numerous times, from a driver's standpoint, you're sitting in the driver's seat because, you know, that's where you need to be. Mm -hmm. The rear view mirror is very important. You can learn a lot from it. It's your past. That's why it's small. Mm -hmm. The future is the windshield. And if you're not spending your time looking out the windshield mm -hmm. and you focus it all on the rear view mirror, you're going to crash. So Shelby accomplished a lot of things in the 60s through what we've done to recent times. But, you know, where we're headed, mm -hmm. that's what's exciting to me and the future of this company and where we're going to go with vehicles. That's what fires me up. I think that's probably the best note to end on. Gary, we appreciate your time from the ClassicCars.com journal. All right. Thank you, David. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thanks. We're going to work on the next one. All right. Today's video is sponsored by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle.